Entrepreneurship is the embodiment of the American dream, and small business owners epitomize hard work and determination. Take Daryl Norris and Sun Greenhouses in Meigs County, for example. Since the 1980s, it's been a family-owned business with Ryan Norris continuing the legacy started by his father. My name's Ryan Norris. My dad started this business with his brother-in-laws, Arthur Hill and Marshall Rouch. For the way we started out, um, my dad and my brother-in-laws, they, were, they raised produce, vegetables, tomatoes, peppers, and then it just slowly graduated, gradually got into the flower part back in the early 80s. From there, the business sprouted into a delightful endeavor. Who built the first greenhouse was my uncle Art, and um, that was in Apple Grove, Ohio, with my grandpa, Dallas Hill. When this business officially started, Daryl North Greenhouse was uh, 1984. Why my dad chose this type of business, um, he liked the flower part better than the, the vegetable part, just because he had more seasons. He had he has three seasons here, spring, summer, fall, and Christmas. Our main focus on our business is growing the best quality of plants we can offer, changing up variety, new varieties for our customers, and just taking care of our customers, and mainly taking care of our employees. The beauty of flowers is more than just aesthetic. It's a sensory experience. Flowers have propelled the business to even greater success, from the abundant clusters to the intricate petals and intoxicating fragrances. When our business started to expand, um, was probably around 2002, 2003, and it was just by demand from other customers, new customers we um, picked up and we just grow for what the demand is. What makes our business successful is, one of the main things is our employees. We have great employees. Another thing is our family. It's a family business. I have three nephews, my sister, my mom, my dad, and hopefully my kids hopefully come into it, and it's just a family business. Our greatest accomplishments over the years here is just probably updating the greenhouses, I'm expanding, and just mainly taking care of this area, helping the community out, and we just love our community. Different tasks involve caring for plants, from watering and fertilizing to pruning and repotting. Behind the scenes, a dedicated team tends to intricate needs of plants, ensuring they thrive and flourish. Do we plan on growing our business? And if so, how? Only way we really grow is demand from the customer. If we pick up new customers or our existing customers need more product, we try, try to fill it. And that's, that's about it. If we, if we just get more demand, we try to fill it. What we look for employees is mainly um, just mainly showing up for work. Um, that's a big thing. Over the years, we've had problems, but here recently, you know, we, we really have a great team here and they do us a great job. Typical day here for us at work is we never know. It changes daily and my crew knows how to adapt. We, we can be planning one minute and the next minute, sticking cuttings to loading trucks. To doing, uh, we all have different tasks here and it all just, it really helps when you have a great team. Our busiest time of year is the springtime. Um, that's my, the weeks coming up to Mother's Day week. We get really, really busy, do a lot of 70, 80 hours a week and that's our business time of year. But amidst the triumphs, there are challenges. Ryan acknowledged that there are aspects he wishes he could change, yet he remains grateful for the opportunity to run a family-owned business that makes a positive impact on the community. If we could change anything about our business, 
it would probably go back 30 years to try to find a flat piece of ground to where we can try to build one structure instead of multiple structures. We, we're on different levels here, and it's we're efficient as we can be, and that would just make it more efficient. Small businesses like Darren Norris and Sun Greenhouses symbolize new beginnings and hope for the future. They contribute the fabric of their communities, fostering growth and resilience without expecting anything in return. They are a testament to the enduring spirit of an entrepreneurship and the power of family and community.